Hi, this is Jack Godfrey, and this is a beginner Qigong, Qigong class. And we're in the spring season, so this time we're going to be having our standing posture be stand like a tree, which is to do with the wood, which represents spring. Our moving is going to be the golden chi ball, and we're going to follow all that up with the healing sound for spring, which is to do with the liver and the sound shh. And then we wrap that up with our meditation, our moving meditation, the five directions. So to begin with, we want to make sure we got our feet in the right place. So if we're doing our standing posture to begin with, so we typically go in the order, stand, move, and sit or meditate as the wrap up. So standing like a tree, we need to have a firm foundation to work with this. So we start with the feet. You want to make sure the feet are hip width apart. So put your weight on one leg. I'm using this one here. Lift the toes. Lift the heel. Bend the knee. So, all, so the weight's on the ball joint of the foot. Swing the heel around and bring it down. And it should just about touch the ball joint of the other foot. Lift the heel. Lift the toes. Swing on the ball joint. And we're back here with the feet more or less parallel. So what we've done here is we've set the feet up so the legs are coming straight down out of the hips. So outside of hips, outside of feet, one above the other. And now, the small triangle and the large triangle. So you bring the weight into the toes, keep the heels on the floor. Big toe, little toe, and the ball joint. This is a small triangle. Exhale, we drift back, put weight in the heels, but keep the toes on the floor. Big toe, little toe, and heel. This is the large triangle. So as we move forward and back, we're helping to get the chi, the lymph system, the fluid within the body move from the legs back up into the torso. So you bring the weight into the toes, then you shift the weight back into the heels. And now, standing like a tree. So you want to center your weight over the big toes, little toes, and the heel. So you want to be centered here. Have, have the knee joint be soft, slightly bent. Grab the hips with the thumbs to the back. Push down with the thumbs. Tuck the tailbone into the body. Pull the belly button in. Lift the ribs, creating space in the abdomen here. And now lift the chin, gaze to the horizon and lift the top of the head to the heavens. So we're lengthening the torso while continue to look off into the distance. And now we set the arms up. So bend the arms slightly, turn them outwards and bring the elbows towards each other. Big stretch in the top of the chest. And now bring the hands up. You want to be able to just barely see the palms, the thumbs in the side of your vision. Center the palm about lined up with the eyes. And now inhale, we come on to the small triangle and exhale, we come back onto the large triangle. So inhale, we move forward and exhale, we drift back. A visualization you can use here is on the inhale, you're pushing against a breeze and on the exhale, the tree is yielding to the breeze. So inhale, we move into the breeze. And exhale, we move back. So you want your breath to be about for a count of four. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. So we'll do two more breaths. So inhaling. And last breath. And we'll let the arms come down 
And now we're going to work on the move segment of the uh, class today, and this is the golden chi ball. So we start with shaking the nine gates. So your hands are wet. Shake the water off your hands. Then you add in the shoulders as well. And then you add in the hips, the knees, and the ankles. And then finally, you add in the back. So you want to twist the back. So you turn to the side and you look over the shoulder. So it's inhale here. And then exhale as we turn and look over the shoulder. So inhaling and exhale. So the nine gates, the places in the body where the flow of chi tends to get stuck. And the three in the arms, the wrists, the elbows, and the shoulders. Three in the legs, the hips, the knees, and the ankles. And finally, three in the back. So the lower back, around about the abdomen, the ribs, the mid-back, and the neck. Those are the three in the body. So the nine gates, the places in the body where the chi tends to get disrupted because the joints are stiff, inflamed, congested. And what we're doing here is working to get that chi to move further into the extremities. So we'll do one more, one more twist. And again, on the opposite side. And we come back to the front. Check out your hands. You may have some pink in your hands. You may have a bit of tingling going on. And this is getting the chi out to the extremities. The more we can get the chi to flow through the entire body, the healthier it will be. Next is standing on a boat. So for this one, we're going to focus more on the small triangle, the large triangle, as well as a dragon's back and a turtle back. And all this is done to the breath where we're breathing in and breathing out for a count of four. So we'll build up to this gradually. So standing on a boat, first of all, you put weight in the toes, small triangle while keeping the heels on the floor. Exhale. Weight in the heels. So inhale, we come forward. Exhale, we drift back. And now you add the ribs to this. Inhale, we come forward, we lift the ribs. We're stretching the front of the body. Exhale, we come back, we drop the ribs. We're stretching the back of the body. So it's inhale, a dragon's back here as we stretch the front. And exhale, a turtle back as we stretch the back. And then we add the arms to this. So inhale around the small triangle, a dragon's back, and we lift the arms about shoulder height, wherever is comfortable for your shoulders. So inhale, the hands come up. Exhale, the hands come down. So inhaling. Exhale. Inhale, we lift the gaze. Exhale, we lower the gaze. So we're on the small triangle with a dragon's back, a large triangle, a turtle back. So inhale, small triangle, dragon back. Exhale, turtle back, large triangle. Inhaling. Exhale. And we'll do one more cycle. So inhale, exhale, and we'll let the arms relax. So that was stand on a boat. 
Next is Phoenix ascends the flame. So for this one, we lower the hips and we reach down to the earth. So Phoenix ascends the flame. We come here, we gather the chi and we bring it up to the heavens and then in to the brass basin. So when you bend over, you want to make sure you protect your lower back. So we bend over with a dragon's back. So to begin with, you pull the belly button in, you lift the ribs, you lift the chin, and then you come down this way. And we come back up like so. And so you want to make sure that you don't hurt the back. Now I'm going quite deep and you can, you go as low as you're comfortable with. So let's do a, a few movements of Phoenix Ascends the Flame. So inhale, we gather the chi from the earth. We bring it up to the heavens and then we draw that chi in to the brass basin. So inhaling. Exhale. Inhaling. Inhale, we gather the chi from the earth. We lift, we're in a dragon's back. Then exhale, a turtle back. So you inhale, large triangle, small triangle, large triangle. So we're gathering the chi from the earth, bringing it up to the heavens, and then grab a beach ball and draw it in to the lower Dien Ten, the brass basin. So a couple more of these. And once more. All right. So the next one is monkey leaps from a tree. This is another one where we're, go we're going up and down. So we're working on getting the chi and moving in and out of the legs and up into the torso. Similarly, we're moving our arms as well. All of this to help with the circulation of chi and the expelling of waste from the body. So, so, monkey leaps from a tree. Looks like this. So it's inhale. We catch a parcel. And you have the chin lifted, tailbone lifted. So this is a dragon's back here. And exhale. We sink down. Turn to a turtle back as we put the parcel down. And we come back up. And we catch again. And exhale. We lower down. Inhale, we come up and exhale. Inhaling. So we're on the small triangle, we sink down, we're in the large triangle. We come up on the small triangle. Exhale, we sink down. Inhale, we come up. So a dragon's back on the way down, a turtle back on the way up. And one more after this guy. Monkey leaps from a tree. 
Next is snake rises from the grass. And so for this one, we start with gathering the chi from the heavens, bring it around to the kidneys with the fingers pointing down. So the wrists are just below the ribs. So there's the bottom ribs and the wrists are there with the fingers pointing down. And now from here, you come around the lower abdomen. So just above the hips and you bring the back of the hands against the inside of the legs. You fold forward with a strong back. So we have a dragon's back here. And then you come down as far as comfortable. Tuck the chin, tuck the tailbone, a turtle back, palms to the legs. We come back up. We go around the abdomen and down in to the brass basin. So snake rises from the grass, inhaling. Exhale, we fold forward. Tuck the chin, tuck the tailbone, a turtle back as we come back up. And exhale, so inhale. So focusing on small triangle here and then a large triangle as we fold forward. Tuck the chin, tuck the tailbone, small triangle as we come back up and then large triangle as we finish off. So we'll do three more of these. Last one. All right, so that was snake rises from the grass. Next, we're moving on to embracing the sun and the moon. We need to have our feet in a different stance here. So it's called stacking of the bones. So you step out to the side a comfortable distance and what you're looking to do here is have the shoulder the ribs the hip and the ankle all in one pile with this knee bent and this leg straight so shoulder ribs hip ankle all in a stack of bones that's why it's called this and now we come over here and check this one out our hips are not necessarily equal and you may need to adjust the distance here so this leg straight this knee bent shoulder, ribs, hip, ankle, all in one stack. And so now, so let's come over here and go like, yep, things are still working. So embracing the sun and the moon involves turning the hips as well. So put your fingertips in the belly button, put the hands flat to the bottom, to the abdomen here, and then pop the hands out without moving the wrists. Turn the hips so you can see the foot between the hands. Push with that foot. Let the hips turn. Let the torso turn. You come over here stacking the bones on this side and have a look. And there's the foot between the hands as well. So you do a couple practice moves here. You push with the foot. Let the hips turn. Let the torso turn. And there's the foot between the hands. Now let the arms relax. And so the hips turn as we move from side to side. And so you push, the hips turn, the torso turns, the shoulders turn, and we have the foot here. Now, we're going to hold a ball here on the side, about shoulder height. It's not out here, it's not up here. We're just holding it here, comfortably close to the torso, about shoulder height if your shoulders work for that. And then exhale, you push with the foot, we're facing front. Inhale, the ball rises up. And we're facing to the side. Exhale. The ball comes down to the center. 
Inhale, the ball comes up on the opposite side. And exhale. Inhaling. And exhaling. Inhale. And exhale. So this movement is called, it goes by many names, but the one we're focusing on today is embracing the sun and the moon. So we're gathering some chi from the moon and we're drawing it in to the brass basin. We're gathering some chi from the sun and we're drawing that in to the brass basin as well. So inhale some cool white chi from the moon and inhale some hot golden chi from the sun. So inhaling, exhale. Inhale, exhale. And you focus on the hands. So you watch the hands. You watch the golden chi ball move from side to side. Gather some chi from the sun. Bring it in. Gather some chi from the moon. And we bring that into the brass basin as well. So inhaling, exhale. Inhale, exhale. And we're looking to do the breath still at that count of four. Four seconds inhale, four seconds exhale. And we'll do one more cycle starting here. And we're done with embracing the sun and the moon. Now we bring the feet back into our narrow stance. And recall you get the heel to touch the ball joint to the other foot and you swing it around. And there we go. Our feet are more or less coming straight down out of our hips. Now the next one we're doing is clearing the seven energy centers. So Qigong, Tai Chi, Yoga, they all have the same roots and they all have the same seven energy centers. So we start with the root, the navel, the stomach, the heart, the throat, the forehead, and the crown. So we're going to be moving Qi through all of these uh, energy centers We're going to bring some fresh chi in that we've been accumulating in the brass basin and clear out these energy centers so they're nice and fresh and clean. Think of it doing the dishes or the laundry. We're cleaning up the body. So we start by stirring up the chi in the brass basin. So you bring it up the back and down the front within the brass basin, the lower dian itself. And now we draw that chi out to the surface. We hold it here. Exhale, we push it down to the root. Inhale, we come up, we come through at the navel. We do this three times. So that was once and twice. So inhale, up the back. Exhale, down the front. So inhaling. Exhale. And now we move up to the stomach. Inhale, we're on the small triangle. Exhale, large triangle. Once more here. And now we move up to the heart. So inhale, you lift the gaze. Exhale, you lower the gaze. Once more here. And now we move up to the throat. Now the next one, we move up to the forehead. And now we move up to the crown, the Baha'i point, the top of the head. Yeah. 
Inhale, run the small triangle, dragons back. Exhale, we come on down, turtle back. So last one here. And now we work our way down one at a time, starting with the crown, the Baha'i point. Exhale. The forehead. The throat. The heart. The stomach, the navel, and once more for the root at the navel. And now we pull down the heavens three times before we move on to the next pot movement. So gather chi from the earth, bring it down from the heavens, and in. To the brass basin. So inhale, exhale, and next we're going to move on to gather the clouds to make a jade pillow. So for this one the feet are still in their narrow stance. When we're going to be doing the small triangle, the large triangle, we've got a dragon's back and a turtle back here. So to begin with, we gather the chi from the heavens. We bring it to the back of the head. We bring the hands to the base of the skull. Open the elbows wide, lift up. And then tuck chin, tuck tailbone, stretching the back. We come down. And inhale, we come up again, opening wide. And then exhale, we massage the gallbladder meridian as we draw the chi in to the brass basin. Now gather the clouds to make a jade pillow. Jade pillow is a bump at the base of your skull at the center of your neck in the back of the head. You have two tendons that come up here and there's a little bump and that's called the jade pillow. And so inhale, we gather the chi from the heavens. Bring it to the base of the skull, that jade pillow. Open the elbows wide, lift the ribs, lift the chin, stretch the front of the body. Exhale, tuck chin, tuck tailbone, stretch the back of the body. Inhale, we come up, opening wide. Then exhale, draw the chi down, in to the brass basin. So inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, we gather the chi from the heavens. Exhale, we move into a turtle back. Inhale, we move into a dragon's back. And then exhale, we draw the chi down in to the brass basin. Inhaling. Exhale. Last one. All 
All right, so the next movement is return to fetal position. So for this one, we use what's called a robin's egg's fist to grab, gather chi from the heavens. So robin's egg's fist is you have the hand open like this and you bring the thumb and the fingers together. And so you have a hole here that you can hold a robin's egg within your palm. So you just want to cup it. This is an open fist. So there's a hole here and that's robin's egg fist. So we come here. We gather some chi from the heavens, bring it around to the kidneys. We lift the ribs slightly and we come around, we come down, bring the wrists together, the elbows together, bring the elbows towards the knee, drop the head towards the wrists. And then we come up, massaging the bottom of the abdomen, up the sides, down the front, in to the brass basin. So inhale, gather the chi, bring it around to the kidneys, and then come down into a crouch, lowering the hips. And then we come back up and down. So inhale, we a small triangle, large triangle. We come up, small triangle large triangle. So inhaling. Inhale, we gather the chi, bring it around to the kidneys. Exhale, we lower down. Inhale, we come up. And exhale. So we'll do two more of these. Inhale, we come up, lift the ribs, and exhale. And then we're done with return to fetal position. And the next one is called leading the golden chi ball around the small circuit. So the small circuit involves the conception vessel down the front of the body and the governing vessel up the back of the body. So the conception vessel starts here at the lower lip and goes all the way down to the hoi yin, the root at the base of the spine. The governing vessel starts at the base of the spine goes up the back, following the spine, and then up over the top of the head and top stops at the roof of the mouth. So there's a bit of a gap in there. And what you do is as the, you're bringing the golden chi ball up the back is you keep the tongue on the roof of the mouth. And then when you're passing by here, you move the tongue to the lower jaw. So you're bridging the gap between the governing vessel and the conception vessel. So we start with stirring up the chi in the brass basin once again. And now you draw some of that chi out to the surface of the body. Exhale, you push it down to the root. Inhale, we draw it up the back, over the head. And then exhale, down the front, down the conception vessel. So you inhale, we're on the small triangle. Exhale, we're on the large triangle. Inhale, we have a dragon's back. Exhale, a turtle back. Inhale for a count of four. Exhale for a count of four. Inhale, you lift the gaze, turtle back. Exhale, you lower the gaze, a dragon's back. So you inhale, you follow the hands as they come up the back. And you follow the hands, exhaling down the front. So inhale. Exhale. And we'll 
I'll do two more of these. Last one. All right, so that's leading the golden chi ball, and it's the last movement in the golden chi ball series. So we'll wrap up this part of the uh, practice with pull down the heavens three times. So it's inhale, gather the chi from the earth, look over the shoulder, turn to the opposite side, look over the other shoulder as we draw the chi in to the brass basin. So twice more. All right, and now we move on to the healing sound for spring. And this is, the sound is shh. And the animal associated with this sound is deer. So in a previous video, we focused just on the sound itself. But in this one, we're gonna do the sound briefly, and then we'll move into the deer, the animal associated with spring as well. So to begin with, you want to step out into that stacking of the bone stance. So shoulder, hip, ankle, knee bent. And the same going on here. Because we're going to be reaching to the side, so with this stacking of the bone stance, it gives us some more side-to-side -side stability. So shift over here. Hold your hand out in a cup here. So visualize you're gathering a gold, a, a green ball of chi mist in your hands. The other hand you can hold here to the side. So it's inhale. So we're gathering the chi in. It's going along the arms and then in to the liver. So inhale. come back bring the feet together again and now we're moving on to the animal associated with this which is the deer and for that you make you draw your middle two fingers in like this so you have the antlers of the deer the fingers on either side of your palm and we lower down and you gather the chi from the earth three times and then you bring the hands up by the temples and we go so twice more. Inhale. And that's the healing sound for spring, which is working on the liver, and the sound is shh. So now we're going to wrap up today's session with the five directions. So once again, you want to be back in that stacking of the bone stance. Shoulder, hip, ankle, knee bent. Shoulders, ribs, hips. We've got the stack of bones here. Make sure the same thing's happening over here. Now we come to the center. Five directions. It's inhale. We come forward. Exhale. We come backwards. Inhale, we go to the left, we come down to the hip. Inhale, we go to the right, and we come down to the hip. Inhale, we come up and down to the center. So for each of these movements, we go for a count of four yet again. So inhale for four. Exhale. For four. Inhale for four. Exhale for four. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, this is for the center. 
and we exhale for eight. So here we go. So inhale, exhale. Inhale, center, inhale, So watch the hands. Watch both hands if you're a lizard. Pick one otherwise. Last cycle, inhale, exhale, inhale, and down to the center. So that's the uh, Golden Chi Ball series, Beginner Qigong. Thank you for coming.